I come back to the British YouTube channel today. So I'm going to learn how to make this beautiful structure sleeve that we see here. It's a very simple tutorial. I'll be taking us through to make a how to draft a standard sleeve pattern and also modify it to have this beautiful sleeve that we have here. If this is something you like to learn, kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. Thank you. There are several ways you can draft this sleeve, but I'm going to show us the simplest one of the simplest ways we can draft it using our actual basic sleeve. Okay, so we're going to be adapting that to the design we're working with. So the round sleeve I'm working with is actually nine inches, that's 18 inches on fold, include 18 inches without fold, including seam allowance. But this is a pattern, so when I'm cutting on my fabric, I'll make it to be on fold. So the round sleeve measurement is 18 divided by 4 divided by 2 is 9 so that is what i've measured there and then the sleeve length that's how long you want the sleeve to be it's just a little bit below the elbow so my elbow is 12 so i'm just going to add around 32 inches to that and i'll make it 14 inches so i'm going to extend this sleeve to 14 inches as we have seen so i have this space to work with as my basic sleeve okay so i'm just going to run through how to draft the basic sleeve i had a detailed tutorial on this already on the channel so now the next thing you need to measure is your cap's height okay so now on the lower part so this is going to be the head of my sleeve and this is going to be my fold point so now on the lower part here i'm going to measure three and a half inches as my cap height and then i'm going to connect like this so after connecting like this on this vertical line i'm going to divide what i have here into two and again i'm going to further divide this into four so basically we are dividing this line into four okay so this is one of the simplest ways of creating your basic sleeve so after dividing into four the first division from the head i'm going to come out here by 0 0.75 okay and then here i'm going to leave the second division and then on the third division i'm going to go inwards by half an inch so now the next thing i'm going to do now is to connect from this point to this point to the middle to this point and back to this point so you can use your free hand on your of your curve but i'm taking it bit by bit so i've connected the first one so now using my curve again i'm connecting the second one and then you make it as smooth as possible okay so my sleeve is ready so assuming we are making a basic sleeve the next thing to do is to shape the hem but it's not a regular sleeve so i'm just going to leave the hem as it is so now to create the puffiness that we want okay i'm going to add more volume to this sleeve on the upper part so that i can have give it that puffy effect so remember this is the head of our sleeve our sleeve starts from here so for my puffy depending on how puffy you want it to be i'm going to add six inches extra to this okay so now i'm adding six inches extra and then i'm going to connect that like that as well so the next thing i'm going to do now is to connect from these six inches and then i'm going to try to blend it in to the curve that i already have here okay so you can see how i'm blending this in you can use your free hand like i am doing and you can as well use your your curve okay sorry for the multiple lines so all of this now by the time we gather it is going to give us that puffy cone that you see there so now this is what the sleeve looks like the last thing i'm going to do now is to create the shape that we have on the hem so to create that v-shape effect from this part from this the lower part here on the head area i'm going to connect it in a diagonal form to where the caps are stop just like this and then my drafting is done so the next thing i'm going to do now is to take my scissors and then i'll cut out this shape that i have here okay i remember that this straight part has to be on fold when you're cutting this on your fabric so i'm going to cut out this shape as well and then this leaf does not go all around to your does not go all around to the ham hole okay but i needed to use my round ham hole measurement because i'm going to add some place to it as we have seen so that's why i decided to use the ham hole. in fact you can even increase the ham hole measurement that you work with if you really want it to be fuller but i'm okay with what i have so i'm just going to pleat it to the 
edge that I want it to stop at the front side and the back side of the sleeve. So I'll go ahead now and cut two of these because I'm going to be adding interfacing to it. So I'll cut one, two, one for my main fabric and one for the lining. And you make sure that this part has to be on fold. Okay, so I have gone ahead to cut it and you can see that this part is cut on fold. So by the time you open it out, this way it looks like. And then I added interfacing to the lining. So this is the main fabric. The fabric I'm using is actually very stiff on its own. So I just added a very light interfacing to it. So now to turn it out, I'm going to place the right side on the right side of the lining. And then I'm going to go ahead and sew it on the hem. Okay, and then I'll leave this head to turn it out. So I'll sew it on the hem so i have gone ahead to stitch it on the lower part as you can see so now i'm going to turn it out you need to notch it wherever necessary and then i'll go ahead and iron it flat okay so so i have ironed it now and you can see how flat it is looking so the first thing i'm going to do now is to weave this upper part okay so that it can be neat and then i'm going to gather it i'm going to pleat it rather i'm going to go ahead and press it to the space that i want to fix this to so this sleeve has like a long sleeve underneath it so the long sleeve goes all around the armhole but this sleeve this particular structural sleeve does not go around the armhole so it starts from a little from below the underarm area you can see from around here and then it goes to the other side and stops around here as well so you just need to measure where you want it to start and stop and that is why you are going to pleat this whole space that you you have to so i'll go ahead now and pleat all of this to that particular measurement that i want and then i'll bring it back to show us what it looks like so i have pleated it to the measurements that i'm working with and this is what it looks like so you can see the puffiness that we have here i can see how neat it is looking so you need to weave this part before you do this fitting so now you can decide to hide any trimming of your choice to it just to beautify it i think i'm just going to sew this to the tip and then you can hard trim it to the outer part and then after placing this on your shoulder area as well you can hard trim it just to conceal this part so i'll go ahead and add this trimming to it and then i'll take it to the mannequin so that we can see what it looks like okay so this is what the sleeve looks like you can beautify it with any trimming of your skirt and as you can see i went ahead to sew this gold trimming on the hem all around so this is what the full view of the sleeve look like you can also hard trimming by this side if that is what you want so like i said there will be a pencil sleeve underneath this and then you just place this over the shoulder and you can see that this does not go all the way it just stops around here it doesn't get to the underarm area you place it on it like that and then you sew after which you can just beautify it with any trimming of your choice i hope you enjoyed making this beautiful tutorial with me if you enjoyed it let us know in the comment section like comment and subscribe to our channel and i'll see you in the next one and if you want your puff to be bigger than this you just need to extend your measurement more so that i can give you something more perfume thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye